All right, everyone, I left off right about here. Hopefully you all enjoy the view. I'm looking around and I'm in, enjoying the view here. Hopefully this is a good 3D image. I'm not sure if it will be, but I'm hoping it will. So anyways, there you go. Uh, now let me get out of here. Hopefully I'm not gonna fall in the water. Jeez, that'd be embarrassing. Let the, let the turtles go back to sunbathing here. riding the bike. Oh, it was windy out here, I guess. It's a little tree that broke off. There's another area I want to stop by. Those little uh, brass statue deers. Let's see how they uh, how they look in 3D. on these. It's really important to have something that can stabilize really well and the handlebar mount is probably the most stable other than my head but I don't think I'm going to be wearing this on my head the 3D thing. But here's another area I wanted to stop by. Here's those bronze statue of the deers. All right. Okay. I'm gonna try to stop right about right here. I'm trying to. I don't have a lens to look at. I'm just looking right between here and just assuming that this is gonna be in the middle. But uh, you have some nice waterfalls in the background. It may be too small to see. A lot of sky. Uh, again, deer. I'm holding it steady as I can to give it a feel for it. I might even walk a little closer or right by it too to see how it is. I'll ride, I'll ride through it a little quick. Just gently. There you go. <laughs> That's all I can do. Okay, come on, come on. Ugh. I'm on pedal assist too. Ugh. There we go. Let me back on pedal assist five. Get me going again. Uh. And I'm trying to. Uh, for the 2D people <laughs> and the 3D people, for the 2D people, I'm just trying to uh, get a uh, shot of what I think would be interesting or interesting enough. Uh, let me see, let me slide around here a little bit. And I think I can be up to the fence to a certain point. I think about this far away, You'll, through the fence kind of comes out and you should be able to see the waterfall. You should definitely be able to see the bag. Again, I'm doing this in 2D and 3D simultaneously. If they both come out good, I'll uh, post them both up. But I think this uh, may make an interesting, it might make an interesting uh, video here. And really what you, all you need to do is, in a 3D video is just have two cameras if they have great stabilization like the insta 361 here uh, you should be able to do a really good job of uh oh here's a light post and some stairs here let's get the shot of the stairs i don't know if it's going to come out or not i'm just trying to i'm just thinking out loud what what might come out really well and i'm on my bike i'm using my bi bike as a tr tripod for the most part. 
so and then uh, maybe one over here over the overpass that might be an interesting one I don't know how it's gonna come out it really needs to be the thing is to make it really pop out the uh, the image has to be in the middle of the uh, of the of the uh, footage so uh, maybe something like kind of like this you know nice roses flowers I've already seen the videos uh, my test footage you should be able to see the front bag here and then uh, definitely see the roses the bushes anyways time for me to get going all right So I already had in mind kind of to take this route for, for that reason, for this reason right here, to do this. Now the thing is, uh, if you move too fast with 3D footage, it may blur really easily. I gotta match up the two videos together, sync the sound, sync the images too. That's that's the more important thing to make it an effective 3D video. I already see some ducks ducks flying out here. I saw something in the water, probably a turtle. I'm just throttling it here. I might do some pedaling. I'm on pedal assist 5, so there's a little gray egret over there. Just kicking it over on the, the fence over there. Nice. Okay, right about here, I'm going to go ahead and just do a, a quick sink break, and then I'm going to head home from here.